Hey guys, Cam with The Real World here. This month, the month of July, is the Criterion Collection sale at Barnes & Noble. So, here's my Criterion Collection. I'm going to tell you the 10 movies you need to get if you're starting your own Criterion Collection. So if you don't know what the Criterion Collection is, all it is is it's a company that takes classic films and contemporary films and puts them on the best format possible. They now have 4K, they have Blu-ray, DVD as well. Um, they're loaded with bonus features and they have the best possible audio and video quality available. Um, it says on the back of, of every one of their um, movies, a, the Criterion Collection, a continuing series of important classic and contemporary films presents in this case, The Asphalt Jungle, which is a great one, but it's not in my top 10. I'm gonna break down my top 10 Criterion Collection films you need to add to your collection right now. All right, so we're kicking things off here with Akira Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. This is the 1954 action movie starring Tetsuro Mifune. It is an excellent film all around. It's an epic, over three hours long. And this box set is really cool. They did a great job putting it together um, as they do with all the Criterion movies. It includes a booklet uh, on the making of the movie, an essay inside, and it has a two disc set. So disc one is the film and disc two is the supplements, the special features. Um, tons of uh, special features here you'll see on the disc. And uh, this belongs in any serious film collector's collection. Um, so be sure you pick up Seven Samurai at the Barnes & Noble half-off sale going on only in the month of July. Next up is Henry Fonda in 12 Angry Men. This film was directed by Sidney Lumet. It's a 1957 courtroom drama. It's all set in one room and features these 12 actors. And this one also includes a booklet on the making of the movie, as well as tons of special features that you see listed here on the back. So this is a really a, a classic. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend picking this up. I'll also recommend The Seventh Seal, a film by Ingmar Bergman. This is also from 1957. That was a great year for movies. This stars Max von Sydow. It is a really, really interesting, unique film, and I highly recommend it. It's about a knight returning from the Crusades who has a chess match with death. It is a really unique movie, a lot of bonus features here, and of course they include the pamphlet inside which has an essay on the movie. If you're interested in getting into European cinema, this is a great pick. Next on the list is Dr. Strangelove, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. This is one of Stanley Kubrick's greatest achievements. This is a 1964 movie. They did a great job putting this set together. Again, tons of bonus features there listed on the back. This is a satirical comedy. This is a very unique entry in Kubrick's filmography. They include these great bonus features here in this little top secret package and it's really really well well put together set that I thoroughly enjoy. Up next is The Red Shoes, this classic by Powell and Pressburger from 1948, one of the most stunning looking movies I've ever seen. This is the 4K combo pack. This is one of the first 4Ks that they've ever put out and the video and audio is unbelievable. I highly recommend picking this up. Again, a great booklet they put together there, and you will not be disappointed in this very, very unique and great looking film. It's really stunning looking on 4K. Also, Rafifi. This is a French film by Jules Dassin. He's one of the great European filmmakers, and this is his heist movie. So if you're into crime kind of capers, this one is for you. It's really, really well done from top to bottom. It looks great, uh, has a really great ending, and I think uh, all, all the crime movie fans out there will get a kick out of this. 
also a good one for an entry level, uh, you know, foreign movie. It's a French film. Had to include Alfred Hitchcock in this, and this is my favorite Hitchcock movie. It looks amazing on Criterion Blu-ray from 1946, Notorious. This one stars Ingrid Bergman and Cary Grant, as well as Claude Rains. It is just a great, uh, tense spy movie and uh, has tons of bonus features there. And of course the booklet inside, which goes over the entire production. Next up is Red River. This is a film by Howard Hawks starring John Wayne. And this box set is really cool. This movie was made in 1948 and it's based on a book. And this actually includes the book the movie is based on. And so I have not read it yet, but I'm waiting to read this one. And the, the Blu-ray and DVD set just looks great. Again, four disc set, DVD and Blu-ray. And of course they still include the booklet on the making of the movie. So this is com coming highly recommended if you're a fan of Westerns, classic Westerns especially. This is one of John Wayne's best and you won't be disappointed with this box set. Up next is Pan's Labyrinth. This film by Guillermo del Toro is his greatest achievement yet. It is a fantasy movie, a fairy tale, um, kind of for adults. It's pretty dark and grim, uh, but it tells a really great story uh, set uh, at the end of the Spanish Civil War. So it is a, a foreign film again. Um, it is all in Spanish with English subtitles. It just has such a great look about it and feel. Um, del Toro is such a unique filmmaker. And you can tell they did something unique with this box set as well, with the essay being put in this um, booklet in a kind of unique way. So if you haven't seen this, or if you have, if you're not familiar with Del Toro, this is a great entry-level movie for him and getting into his filmography. It's from the year 2006, so this is the newest on the, on the list, but um, I just had to put it on there because it looks so good. And finally, Some Like It Hot, a Billy Wilder production. Billy Wilder, one of the great writer-directors of the classic Hollywood era. This one was made in 1959. Stars Tony Curtis, Jack Lemmon, and Marilyn Monroe. It is a classic comedy. It's one of the best comedies I think ever made. Has tons, again, of, of bonus features here. We have uh, the disc as well as the booklet here, which goes over the entire production. And it's just one of those that you cannot miss out on if you're a fan of old Hollywood, if you're a fan of these actors, it's just a must see, must see movie um, that I thoroughly enjoy. I can watch over and over and over again, never get tired of. All right, folks, so those are my top 10 Criterion Collection recommendations. If you're starting to add movies to your collection, you have to include the Criterion Collection because these guys just know how to put out a great disc. The discs are always top quality video and audio, and the bonus features they include are incredible. They really go in depth on each of these movies, interviews with the cast and crew, uh, just the booklets alone, the, the essays that these uh, film historians and critics write uh, make it all worthwhile. So um, as well as the, the cover art, I, I think the cover art on each of these is just really really spectacular. So they just go all out. When they when they make a, a Blu-ray or DVD box set, they, they put a lot of effort into it, and you can tell that they really care about these films and want to uh, save them for, for posterity. A lot of their movies are older. Like I said, some of them are newer, um, but they really always do a, a great job putting these together. So highly recommend all 10 of these. There are tons more in my collection. I've been collecting these for a while now. So if you want to see what else is in my collection, let me know. If you want other recommendations on uh, type, different types of movies, if you're looking for a specific genre or director, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to respond to those. So thanks for joining us here on The Real World and we'll see you next time.